So could I technically say that one of my favorite YouTubers used my song or used something from my song? Well, kind of, but technically I could say I used something from his video too. Interesting story. This is what gets a little weird about sampling, or I don't really think it's weird. I don't even care, but some people might care, uh, and I think it's actually really funny. So I was watching one of my favorite YouTubers. His name is Bia Heza on YouTube. He does a bunch of like, you know, just finance related stuff on YouTube. That's my favorite genre of, even though I'm a musician, that's my favorite genre of watching on YouTube. Um, but he was, listen to this really quick. So in this video, he was talking about buying an abandoned storage unit and f trying to flip it to see if it's actually worth like the income kind of thing. But I recognize something in the background. So if you listen, listen to the music, not to what he's saying. In, uh, go watch his video and listen to what he's saying. But in this video, listen to what he's, uh, listen to the music. Just re listen really closely to the music. But there is this sleeping bag in the back as well as this camo bag out front. So maybe this yeah. is a bunch of camping and outdoor gear, which could be pretty valuable. Option three is this blue one. Uh, I don't know. It just looks kind of jay. Listen to that horn. Listen to that horn. Which could be pretty valuable. Option three is this blue one. Uh, I don't know. It just looks kind of janky and like a waste of time. It does have some frames in the picture. So maybe there's a couple original Picassos. You hear that one in there? What? Ba -da -bum, ba -da -bum, ba -da -bum. One more time. I'll show you one more time. Listen to this. There's this camo bag out front. Listen so it, maybe this is a bunch of camping and outdoor gear, yeah, uh, which could horn. be pretty valuable. Option three is this blue one. Uh, I don't know. It just looks. Hear that horn? Now look at this. We go to Jacob Restituto. You recognize that? Do you recognize that horn? Literally, it's actually it's in the same key, I think. And outdoor gear, which could be pretty valuable. Option three is this blue one. Uh, I don't know. You hear that? That's the same exact horn used in two different songs. So that's actually not the first time that I, oh, it's the first time I've noticed it in a song. Actually, no, it's not. It's the second time that I've noticed it. Somebody was reaching out to me about doing work for TikTok or something like that. And they're like, hey, we want, you know, would you want to promote your songs? Here's some other artists that we do. And I checked out one of their songs. I was like, oh my gosh, this is the same guitar sample that I've used for a different song. It's just they, they chopped it up differently or I chopped it up differently. It's a different key, but I recognize the sample. Another example is somebody sent me was like, yo, is this person using your song in this video? And I was like, and it was the same piano part to my song, um, uh, Miracles in the Ordinary. And first of all, I appreciated the fact that the guy recognized it. I was like, that's really cool that you recognized my piano part in P Miracles of the Ordinary. But the truth is, I do a lot of sampling. And what sampling is, is when you um, take, whether it be a free use sound or a sound from a different song, and you chop it up to make it your own. Um, and if you don't chop it enough up, you have to end up paying royalties essentially to the, to the owner. Um, but if you do chop it enough enough, that goes on the fair use. So what's funny is it's really interesting when you recognize the sound that you've used in a different person's video or song or anything like that. It's like, oh, it's really funny. That's, I guess, what you could call the problem with sampling. But in all honesty, I don't really mind it at all. I think that it's actually just funny or fun. And it's almost like it's almost like you get have the opportunity to see, you know, who uses it best, you know, or who what people decide uses it best or how you use it differently. Obviously, you know, mine was a lot, bit more poppy. Um, this one was a bit more piano wise. Uh, mine was slower and more the, the, the horn was way more pronounced. Uh, but it's just cool to see the um, how, how things from sampling get used. So I'd love to know if you've ever experienced that in your music, if you've used somebody else's sample, what your thoughts are on sampling. Uh, but I just thought that was really cool to see too. I was watching the video just completely out of happenstance. And I was like, wow, that's really funny uh, that there is... Um, he is using that same exact sample. Whoever, wherever he got the music from, is using that same exact sample. So I thought that was funny. I just wanted to share it with you guys. But thank you so much for watching. I'll just see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. God bless. Peace out.